Troop Dupe Scoop format. Well, what is up, guys? I'm Cole here. We're here with, what is it, June 2007 format? And we're going to be doing some beautiful commentary. I believe that this is the Monarch Mirror Match. Uh, don't quote me on that. But this format was very notorious for three card troopers and the Disney Hero Engine with Monarchs. Yeah, I remember, you guys thought the quick fix with Machine Dupe was ridiculous? Well, let me tell you. So this is wrapping up the back end of the Zodiac Tournament. Um, this particular tournament, we were testing previous formats, changing each format each round, giving players the chance to change. Um, here you're just going to see a set Fearmonger, set Call of the Haunted. Not particularly too spicy of a trade-off. I'm trying to want top to hold the card trooper. Also have to remember we already have malicious in the hand. So it looks like just a pass one back, which is fine. Tribute for rise up, bounce it back, lock the opponent's draw, swing in for twenty four hundred, no real value here. Putting his opponent on a timer now. Cause he can still call back Fearmonger on the next turn, tribute for another Ryza, and just keep on spinning back and forcing the opponent to be in the same situation. Now his opponent has to try to answer this board, or the tempo swing here could be actually very real. It's amazing what Ryza did in this format. For a card that was as degenerate as this, being able to haul anything back to the top of the deck and force lock the opponent out, um, especially in a situation with just set one, it was incredibly broken. You're going to have Heavy Storm here, clear off the back row. Once again, you're going to be looking at Big James over here, trying to have to answer this Ryza. And, as I said, we have another Ryza loaded in the wake. Cyber Dragon with Brain Control. Ooh. Now this is, this is your ideal, like, turn two. Back in this format, under the previous text for Brain Control, being able to steal this, steal this, tribute this after a, a tempo burst like this, like... This is a lot of resource trading here, but it's fine as long as Big James has a Monarch. And as long as the Monarch he has doesn't end up being a rise that bounces on stuff back. And here you go. Thestalos giving him the most value unless he hits the Malicious down here. No hand traps in this format to have to worry about ruining your day. Oh no, did he hit the Malicious? Oh god, no. I think it might be over here. Gets burned 600, Malicious beaming out, <laughs> rise of this back to the top of the deck, and swing over the Cyber Dragon. This format, you look at this format, it's a lot more, I want to say linear, than people really give this credit for. But it was just a very tempo-based format. There was a lot of control to it. I mean, there were a lot of variations in the format. Dexter Dalit's Royal, uh, Pre or Royal Decree Gadgets ended up winning... Um, Canadian Nationals, back in the day when Nationals were separated. But that was 11 years ago. So once again, we have another top deck lock swinging over, and he's going to be on two cards. Actually, he'll be on three with Thestalos, but do we really count that? We have He's in such a good position now. And once again, we have Stratos loaded for the next turn. You have another recurring Mally. Any top deck that we would see from south down here is going to make his opponent go south. And I don't I don't see any real recovery out of this other than the just set. Top deck another Ryza, please. So we can just wrap up this duel. Top decked Destiny draw. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, there's so much control here. Hi, Disc Commander. Disc Commander up. D draw, drop into the Disc Commander. Uh, the tempo plays are so real here. You could have argued that you wanted to remove the Mali so you don't draw it, but I don't think he really cares at this point in time what kind of comes up. Oh, look. Troop Dupe Scoop right here. South has been in total control of this entire game, and it's it's absolutely disgusting, just like how these tempo shifts go. Gravekeeper Spy back here on the back end, being able to float him into another monster. Um, he'll be able to reestablish his Thestalos next turn, um, and he's going to have to play through Scapegoat, which still does not put him in a better position. Set one pass, snatch deal back. I would have argued that I would have just rolled the troop dupe there, honestly, and just tried to aggro push it, because if, if it's really anything, I mean, he should have game, though. 
Ryza in. If it's another spy, yep, that's why you should have held the snatch deal. He got very greedy there. One of the things I hate about, oh god, oh, hey Jinzo, what's up? You lost your one out to answer the Reaper, like, you got greedy. Oh, <laughs> hello Dokoichi, my old friend. Is he gonna start to come back out of this? Monarch's trade in? I mean, he's on a dust shoot to scapegoat, he's not too good now. Ha he would have been in total control of this had he held the snatch deal, like, absolutely. The greed there? is what killed it. Oh wait, maybe he gets there. Does he does he get there with brain control target reaper? Kill it. Crash Jinzo in directly. Is that the game? Do we do it? Car trooper? Does he have scapegoat? I mean, he gets one more draw, but like still got to answer this. I don't, I don't see how you set pass. Moving on along here. Trooper just dumping. Didn't win. And alright, cool. We're going into the next game. Whew. Remember, kids, when you know Spirit Reaper's a card, control it. Oh my god. Disc Commander. <laughs> this hand is literally just activate Heavy Storm, <laughs> Disc Commander, and then premature back Disc Commander and just draw. Like, watch this man go. Oh god. What the fuck are you doing? Resources, come back. Oh, nope, never mind. He got rewarded. Must be nice. <sighs> Must be nice. So good. So good. Premature target disc commander. Draw two more. If he draws... If he draws into... I'm, I do want to point out that I probably would have heavy stormed here to make sure that this resolves. To make sure that it establishes itself. Which would have been the much better play, because if his bone had MST here, it, it's just a whole lot of bad plays being rewarded, honestly. And here I got the MST off the top deck, which I probably should have heavied. Please, please be something. Oh, it was torrential. Uh, tribute summon for Jinzo. His hand is not looking too spicy for him, honestly. Sets stuff. <laughs> Treeboard frog. I fucking hate that. No monarchs back from his opponent. Oh god, is this is this all she wrote right here? Uh, here comes the ferocity of troop dupe scope, which is literally just <laughs> machine dupe card trooper. Activate, activate all three effects. Mill as many as we can. Mill nine, ladies and gentlemen. He still has a Mali left in deck. I don't know how. He also hasn't hit a cyber dragon yet. Interesting. Jinzo into the face. Oh no! Why are you so greedy? Like you know, you know he plays spy. I would have attacked with Jinzo, card trooper in nineteen nineteen. Just so much greed from South down here in the swings. Like I understand the twenty four burst damage, but like, yep. Hey Riza! Wow, he's bouncing back the force. Interesting. Going for the crash. He's still got to answer three card troopers. I don't see how he does this without some sort of neg. South just activates Heavy Storm next turn and wins the game, right? Like, as long as the opponent doesn't have judgment? Like, is it honestly that simple? Still don't have a Cyber Dragon down here. Oh. Is it GG? Slam the Heavy, please. Slam the Heavy. Slam the heavy into the judgment. Let's see it. Did you get there? Wow. Yeah, I do agree. South did misplay a lot in this particular duel. The the overall fact, like, he should have been more conservative um, and been a little bit more protective, especially in his draws, but the thing was, like, in a format like this, Stable cards can reward you, as you've just seen. And it's one of the things that makes the older formats a little bit harder for people to swallow. Staples ran these formats, as you just saw. I mean, look at this. Confi, Giant Trinade, D-Draws. These were all cards of the time that were insane. You know, Brain Control didn't have the shitty errata on it. 
a lot of interesting things that went wrong in this format because literally everything was the same and Yu-Gi-Oh's kind of come out of that since that point in time but hope you guys enjoyed well not particularly too interesting of a look into Troop Doop but yeah maybe you'll get your feet wet all right guys I'm out. the ride never ends guys make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.